Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have Hangman. The magician. Somebody could have tried to make some sort of sacrifice here. And then we have the hermit. Yeah, somebody tried to make some sort of sacrifice spiritually. Somebody could be a Pisces, Aries, or a Virgo. Yeah, there could be two magicians here. Three. They work with the devil. We have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups. These two people are going to be going through a tower. And then we have the magician again with the King of Swords to the devil. This 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 Queen of Swords and this Queen of Cups is I think this is one person. There's two magicians out here. These these two people try to make some sort of spiritual sacrifice here. This could be a couple. With the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Let me see. Is these three people? Nope, these are two people that like to do magic and they like to make sacrifices on people. These people could have tried to sacrifice a Pisces, a Aries, and a Virgo. These people tried to sacrifice a Pisces, a Aries, and a Virgo. Or if if there's a, a if those are not the people's signs that they tried to sacrifice, they got them signs in a chart somewhere. But this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, is going through some type of tower here for the magic that she was doing. And then for some of y'all, the magicians, this person went to three magicians, uh, a, a Pisces, a Aries, and a Virgo. To sacrifice a man. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, both of these people are magicians for others this woman went to a few magicians to do some magic on a masculine to keep him in a low vibrational state mm -hmm. yeah because I, I, that's what i y'all that's what i'm leaning more towards because we got the temperance at the top this man is a divine energy but this person needs this man to be in this low vibrational energy to be with her. So this woman was doing magic on this man so that he can be in this low vibrational state with her, but he really supposed to be in the temperance. But this man is still divinely protected because this woman was doing magic on him. And that's why this woman is going through this tower. Yeah, this man, the chariot is right after that. This man is going to be able to still move forward. But this man just needs to watch who he sleep with with the uh, Knight of Wands. Watch who he be romantic with. Watch who he sleep with. Because some of these people, when you sleep with them, they doing spiritual things. And that's the truth. But if this man has been trying to have a connection between heaven and earth, you know, trying to pray more, trying to see truth, trying to search for the truth, this is why this man is having a breakthrough and this man is going to see who his actual enemies are. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this man going to end up having a breakthrough. This man was facing ongoing battles with this because this person had this man tied up. Do you hear me? Holly, if you hear me. 
<laughs> but this man want to nurture a new dream, but this woman was trying to trap this man, Eight of Swords. Yup, this man was in a trap. Here you go again, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Cups, this man, and then, let me tell y'all something. This man was like disappointed and depressed and down while he was with this person. And now this man is resisting this person. So now this person is in the four of cups to the three of swords. This person is in regret. This person is hurt. Because this man want to separate from them. Because this man see the deception here with the moon. So these could be moon signs, not sun signs that I'm naming. But y'all know we're going to dig into it. We're going to get the 411 because that's my signature. 411, the info. Yeah, this man was burdened. Burden, stressed out, disappointed, but it's because this man was getting attacked by somebody that he thought was well, somebody that he loved. He loved this person. He had love for this person, or the attacks made this person have love for this person. Mm, this person was doing this for a long time, too. Look, you see how this man is putting, like, having this woman drink something? This woman could have been the aggressor in having this man drink something. This person was doing this for a long time. This was a plan. There could have even been some sort of plan to conceive to as well. Yeah. This person wanted this person. This person was juggling their faith and everything. This person wanted this person to be their faith to be unstable because that's how it was going to work. They was attacking this king of wands. I tell you, they was attacking this man. They keep showing the man being attacked. This man has an Ace of Cups. This man is, this person could have even been attacking this man's Ace of Cups. It's too much indication of this magic being done on this man. This man being attacked, but it's also because this man was in his low vibrational state too. He could have even thought somebody that he was dealing with was an angel, but... You know, the devil angel too. And he was actually dealing with the devil. And that, that motherfucker had his ass tied up. Do you hear me? I said, holla if you hear me. But now the reason why this is being unveiled and this man is coming out of this and awakening, now these attacks is waking his ass up. Because this man been taking action towards his faith and renewing himself in the spirit, having hope judgment that's why this man getting rescued because this man is loved look loved by the sun this man is loved this man making a major choice and a major decision about his love life getting healing seeing the truth gaining a higher consciousness here so that's why the spell ain't the spell ain't spelling and this person was trying to block that because they was trying to block an ending mm-hmm this is a spiritual hater, five of swords. This, this person don't like divine energy for real. They didn't want to see this person with a new beginning and happy and committed and fulfilled. So this woman ultimately betrayed this person, ten of swords. They took action to do this. Ten of swords, knight of swords, nine of swords. This woman could even be sick or this woman going to face some sort of embarrassment. This a hoe. It's a hoe that did this. Queen of Wands to the Knight of Wands. It's a hoe. And they used sex as well. Because they wanted this man to be their husband and their provider and their lover. They wanted this man to make a major choice and decision on them. So this is why they did this. They put their teachings to use. Now this man could also even be in a Nine of Swords because of this. Ooh. This man could feel embarrassed, heartbroken, or this man could be sick as well. Damn. But now this man is looking to build a foundation elsewhere with this Ten of Pentacles, have wish fulfillment elsewhere, and he's single with the Nine of Cups. 
Yeah, he's single. He focusing on his eternal life. And he working hard towards that shit, too. He becoming spiritual because he walked away quick. <laughs> he walked away quick. <laughs> hey, with that Ace of Cups, with that awakening, he got, he got tailed it the fuck up. <laughs> now he getting balanced here, having hope, getting purified, and getting knowledge about the most high. He's soaking it in, too. He greedy. He holding it close to his chest, too. Yep. And he leaving a lot behind here with the Five of Pentacles. Yep, it's manifesting. He working hard. Seven of Pentacles again. And he putting what he learned to use. And now look at his ass. Look at his ass! Emperor to the to the ten of pentacles and he and he fighting for that shit. He fighting for his shit. He fighting to the death for his shit. I know that's right. You get your shit. He putting in that work, labor, ten of wands. For his eternal connection. He fighting to the death. Do you hear me? He fighting to the death. I know that's right. You get your shit, sir. You get your shit, sir. Don't let nobody take that from you. That's what I like to see. Shoot. Good buddy woke up and found out and he said, shit. <laughs> Who the hell is this heifer? <laughs> That's what we need to find out. Who the hell is this heifer? Yo, I don't know what I did with that pendulum, so we're going to have to use this. Hopefully, it don't fall out. Who the hell is this heifer? Is this heifer a Pisces? No. Aries? No. Virgo? Nope. Are they an air sign? No. Water sign? No. I'm going down in the row, y'all. Are they a um a Capricorn? Nope. Are they a Sag? This woman is a Sagittarius. is doing this straight up hope so this 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 person wanted this person to be they uh divine masculine and provide for them so this person could have did something fucked up to cause heartbreak and loss this person definitely did magic on this person or highly manipulated this person. But this person is fighting for their eternal life. This person is fighting to become that spiritual man they're supposed to be. They're fighting the devil to get in a temperance energy, to be balanced, to have hope, to have purification, to move forward. Um, you know, things happen for a reason. And this happened for this man to spring into action and get into his boss emperor energy you know what i'm saying because this man is supposed to be a temperance higher fine actually and this man right now he could be holding back from sharing some sort of knowledge about you know his illness or about what was done or about what he lost because he's in the process of working hard to become a better man and you already know when i see some stuff congratulations Congratulations. Congratulations to you. You get your stuff. You fight for yourself. So this is showing that this man is starting to love himself more. And we've seen the King of Cups come out a couple times. Uh, this man could be any sign. I'm not going to uh, pull and see what sign he is. But this man could be any sign. All signs are out here. But this is a Sagittarius whore that is, you know... Jezebel, spirit, low down. Musty wanted to come out. 
This person could even be musky. <laughs> this is just not a clean spirit. This person doesn't have a clean spirit. This person real raggedy. This person could have a water sign moon, um, a Aries moon, a, a Pisces moon, a Aries moon, a Virgo moon, a Gemini Libra Aquarius moon. That's their moon sign. But this is just an unclean, sad asshole. Yeah, this man commitment was being tested. And, you know, he could have lost to a nasty ass hoe, but he's, he's fighting back. Yep. And the energy, the energy is gaining momentum. Yep. He fighting back. You know, first quarter moon in the first, in the, in the, in the, in the first quarter, he was looking kind of wobbly. <laughs> In the first quarter, he was kind of wobbly, but the, his energy is is gaining momentum, and he he a time for healing, yeah. And so a new start is coming for this man. A new start is definitely coming for this man. This man could like to watch basketball too, as well. That could be significant. Also, a new start is coming for him, and a, a new romantic cycle is going to begin for him too. Justice, Libra energy. Mm-hmm. Nothing is set in stone yet, but this this man is this is what this man is taking action towards. So this message is to tell you to keep taking that action. Okay. And communication is key. You communicating with the most high, you praying. You know what I'm saying? Your hard work is gonna pay off. What you put in is gonna pay off. And the personal issue that you are having, um, is gonna come to a resolution. Conclusions are within reach for you. And luck is on your side. Blessings are on your side. So don't worry about whatever situation you was in because nothing will come of that situation. And don't let your pride get in the way. Expect a powerful change, baby. Because the end of a tough cycle approaches for you. Okay? You had to figure out what you needed to release. And it's that hole. You got you had to release that hole and then hold your vision. You had to release that hole and hold your vision. Because you got it. Yep, bring love into the situation anyway. You feel me? Bring love into the situation. Yep, because look, what came out. The end of a tough cycle approaches. You just had to be bold and take that first move and look at the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. So whatever move you, you know, you took and made, it was the right move. Don't doubt that. I'm about to pull some of this real quick. Yeah, this was love triangles and stuff. Multiple choices, multiple lovers. You had to wake your ass up. Woke, awake, become aware. Step into the true reality of what this is and who you were attached to. Because whatever it was, it was Cap. And it was Shady Dillon's here. Damn, another baby. You could even... Got this person pregnant or got another baby or had another baby or there could be a child or children involved, whether they made it or didn't. Yeah, we have, please keep your distance, fuck boy alert. Yeah, you need to avoid contact with an air sign or an air grand trine. Avoid contact with sick people. Avoid contact... With communicating with sick people. You need to avoid an air element. Yeah, cancel their ass.
Please keep your distance. Fuck boy, fuck girl alert. Avoid contact with sick people. This person could have even had COVID or something. This person could be an air grand trial or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. You need to cancel they ass. You got to stand in your strength enough to cancel they ass. You could have Libra somewhere in your chart. Yeah. The struggle has been real. It ain't been easy for you, especially with catching a case. But I did another reading. It's a reading that I did, and I think I'm going to put it in the description. And I, I don't know if whether I was talking about feminine energy or masculine energy. It really don't matter. But there's a message that I had gave, and I remember it. And it was about people who end up getting some sort of STD or catching some sort of case. Um, and it was my outlook, you know, my outlook on it, you know, what I feel. You know, a lot of messages has been coming up about STDs and, and STIs lately, but it was one that I did, you know, really talking to the people who, may feel judged or feel that they're less than because they have an STD or an STI and you need not to do that. And I know a lot of people would be judgmental, but for a lot of people, you have no idea on how a person may have got said STD or STI. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, some people could even be married. You know what I'm saying? They thinking they could trust their husband or their wife. And then they end up with a disease. You know what I'm saying? Um, for other people, boyfriend, girlfriend, you could trust somebody and then, you know, they betray you. They backstab you. You could even be somebody who, you know, before you even do something with somebody, you like, you know, keep it real with me. You know, yada, yada, yada. And that person's like, oh, I ain't got no. So you thinking you can, you know, trust that person, get your funky off. And then here it is. They gave you something funky, you know? Um, there are situations where, you know, with needles, it ain't just, I always got to be through a sexual act. Um, I end up watching a movie one time. There are situations where people may have something and then they may know that somebody don't have something and they get envious. So they, um, you know, try to infect that person on purpose and it don't even have to be a sexual act. Um, there are people who, what was that back then? What they call it? A hot shot. There are situations like that. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't know, you know, even with situations with people being born, you never know. You know, nowadays they might, you know, they have better, you know, ways and situations to where the child will not receive, you know, said whatever their parent got. But, you know, there's just a lot of different situations as to why. And then also you got to point out and look at the spiritual aspect of it too, because what happens in the physical, it points out something spiritually. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put that video in the description just in case you're having some feelings about, because people can get down on themselves, shoot, you know, but you have to still pour that love into yourself and know that you are still worthy even though you have this situation going on and it could be tough you could feel like it sets you back it could be something that annoys you you know frustrates you but by you taking this um initiative to renew yourself in the spirit you're going to be blessed okay just as long as you complete this, you're going to be blessed. You could even be a grand trine. Somebody could even be trying to get your ass canceled. And the struggle could be real for you. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to find your tribe. Okay? You're going to find a group. And it would have to be, you know, other blessed people. When you renew yourself in the spirit, you have to be around others that are like that. You can't be around, you know, them other people. People could try to troll you, feel like you're fake flexing, feel like you're broke. You know, you got undesirable test results and stuff. You could be dealing with a woman scorn here. This person could be having some car problems or you could have car problems. This motherfucker acting fake. This person don't want to see you shine. You know, this, this person did some savage shit to you because she's a woman scorn. This person might end up seeing this read and look at it and feel like they seeing some bullshit, but oh well. 
because that's what it's given. It's given, it's you. I mean, I ask and see if it's the man, but it's given, it's you. You're a Karen. <laughs> it's given, it's you. This Karen going to be looking at this for like she's seeing some bullshit, but it's given, it's you. And this person going to be in their feelings too. Deep, but oh well. You know, I don't give a fuck. It look like it's you. If it ain't you, flip the fucking rolls. But it's given, it is you. And how you going to see it and get caught up in your feelings is because you're putting your nose and investigating and looking into somebody else's business. You're looking somebody up, researching them, studying them, and trying to get info. So you could be somebody just watching a lot of different readings or something like that, and you may come across this one, and this one going to put you in your feelings because you need to hear this motherfucking shit. Ho, you're still stalking. Yo, turn basic ass. You like to get drunk, alcohol, or drugs, maybe. Who knows? Your little turnt basic ass. You're unoriginal, you're unexciting, and you're mainstreaming your taste. And you wanted this person to stop dealing with somebody else to deal with you. You was all on his dick. And you could be physically abusive. Shady dealings. So it's just like you have some shady dealings too to a person that's loving themselves now. So you could even be focused on another person too. Or you're focused on this man. He loving himself now. He putting himself back together again. Or you're focusing on another that's loving their self and putting their self back together again. This woman could have a, a Taurus moon, Aquarius moon, Scorpio moon, or a Leo moon. Shots is fired straight to your heart because you want this person power. But you're not going to get it. You can kiss their ass. You're not going to be able to finesse that. But you know what your delusional ass can finesse? A seat in the motherfucking cell. You sacrificing yourself. And this whole doing magic. You could be doing magic so you don't have to go to jail, bitch. You going to jail. But your attempts to get this man. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You could have had somebody helping you to attempt to get him. You have somebody take charge or you initiated something with somebody for them to take some sort of action. And this person has an Aqu uh, 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 I'm about to say an Aquarius moon. This person has an Aquarius moon, a Capricorn moon, a Cancer moon, a Aries moon, or a Libra moon. You was trying to, you, what you was expressing to this person was really jealousy, but they could have still took the, the, took bold action against somebody, but whatever you was trying to obtain, you wanted what somebody else had, and this person could have too, you know what I'm saying, y'all both could have got jealous, and began to try to slut shame this person, and judge this person, Try to make it seem like they was a facade, but you two hoes is a damn facade. Try to make it seem like this person just love attention or something. Just so y'all can make a dirty offer to a man that didn't have a fuck enough. And cock block a clean offer for somebody else. That's That was the motive. <laughs> that was the motive. And all you was worried about was where the money was at. So you a sad ass hoe. You wanted to marry this man or this man to be your man for the money. This divine masculine, that's all you wanted him for. Not for who he was supposed to be. That's why you needed to keep him in that low vibrational state. But he still ghosted your ass. Or be in and out disappearing on your ass. Because he know your ass ain't never got no facts and you always lying and making shit up. Yeah, you just need money. You be asking this person for money and you've been tag teaming him and linking up with these friends to do spiritual sacrifices and magic and y'all been doing hate and black magic on people. Tag teaming and y'all awesome fucking loser ass bitches ain't, ain't, ain't none of y'all cloaked. Why y'all be trying to track somebody? Y'all crazy bit loser. Crazy bitches full of problems. Fucking losers. Always trying to track somebody and, and y'all always partying and messing with people that didn't move the fuck on or want to move the fuck on. They said, thank you, next. Bitch. Next. 
the fuck? I hate raggedy assholes like y'all. Hate is a strong word, but I just not. I ain't gonna say hate. I dislike what you raggedy motherfuckers doing. I don't hate nobody, but I do not like. I hate y'all actions and I dislike y'all motherfucking actions. Raggedy assholes trying to destroy and transform people and cause destruction and death and do black magic because you hoes are obsessed. This is obsession. You dirty hoes are obsessed. Now, who is these other hoes that this person had helping them? That's what we gonna figure out. Who the other dumb, raggedy-ass hoes that was helping this raggedy-ass fish fillet? <laughs> Fake friends. They're, y'all skeletons gonna come out. <laughs> That's what the fuck about to happen. Should start pulling on you dirty-ass hoes. Y'all skeletons gonna end up coming out by fucking around. Weak ass hoes. Y'all ain't supposed to be doing no shit like that anyway. I don't give a fuck who come to you with a soft story. Tell them to take it to the most high. The fuck? Who are y'all? And that's why y'all asses is gonna be running into a motherfucking tower right along with this raggedy ass heifer. Trap. That's what that's what y'all get. And y'all gonna get outcasted from the sun. <laughs> Y'all gonna get outcasted. That's what the fuck gonna happen to y'all. Y'all getting put in the trap. Y'all gonna get outcasted out of, out of heaven. Because y'all wanna be superficial and greedy and dumb as a motherfucking box of rocks. So what y'all need to do is get on a new motherfucking path away from this motherfucking raggedy ass queen of wands. Raggedy ass hoe. They're just trying to make somebody get into a karmic, a karmic motherfucking partnership with them. What that look like? King of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the devil. Or y'all gonna get they motherfucking karma right along with them. Judgment is being called on this devil, low vibrational, delusional, whack-ass hoe that's trying to get a victory by any means. Going around trying to make people sick. Going around trying to cause heartbreak. Going around doing magic and having y'all doing it too. And y'all dumb as hell. Y'all karmic too though. That's why y'all need to get y'all shit. Can't even recognize a karmic bitch. Can't even recognize it. Just stupid as hell. So there could even be other feminines that this person is obsessed with. And y'all just helping the damn hoe. They could be any sign. But that hoe is a damn Sagittarius son. And I named the moon signs that they could have trying to impede on another motherfucker shit. Y'all too motherfucking blind to see it. And y'all trying to constrain and tie down a divine masculine and a woman, a queen, that y'all trying to mess with. Because y'all hating too, though. Y'all want what this queen got too, though, after y'all done seen them. Yeah, because y'all know this queen connected to source. They the source, honey. Y'all messing with this immortal woman clarity and they got the clarity from source so y'all want what the fuck they got i see y'all want to invoke their power and y'all think y'all about to bask in the sun but it's in reverse because y'all ain't fucking got it y'all gotta put the work in y'all ain't just about to invoke nobody shit this person could do divination too and that's the naked fucking truth raggedy assholes trying to cause a burden and one of you hoes like like women one of you hoes could even like this person Messing with a Ouija boards, calling spirits, and trying to silence this person from saying what the fuck y'all doing. That ain't gonna work. Trying to hope, control, and constrict them. That's y'all desire to silence this person, but it ain't gonna happen. They made a pledge and a commitment to the most high. Fuck you, dirty, raggedy hoes. And they gonna triumph. Because they centered. It's, it's they core. It's in them. Y'all ain't finna do nothing with that, and the most high gonna get the glory. Can't seduce this one. Huh. Can't seduce this one. Can't change this one, Journey. And you can bet your motherfucking last and your bottom motherfucking dollar on that. You can bet it all, bitch. Bitches. Because it's multiple of y'all. Let's see. Who the hell else helping this little cum rag? Cum guzzler. Who helping this cum guzzler? Who's helping the cum guzzler? A Scorpio? 
a Cancer. Who's helping the cum guzzler? A Libra. Anybody else helping the cum guzzler? In the cum rag. In a Leo. Taurus was sticking up here too. These could be these people's sun sign, moon signs, or they got these signs in their chart. Anybody else? Last three shuffles. We got Gemini. So these could be people, moon signs, sun signs. Lilith too, because these hoes envious as fucking of the darkness. South Node too. Anybody's. And Jupiter. Ho trying to hit the jackpot and have some luck with a wish fulfillment. You ain't getting that shit, you dirty, cum guzzling cum rag. And you hoes this helping her. Y'all gonna have a day y'all deserve too. Y'all gonna get a little bit of that karma as well. Depending on what the fuck y'all was doing too. Oh, let me get that other deck real quick. Let's see what was all going down. Nothing but some hating ass hoes. Candle magic for show. For sugar show, the candle magic. So for some of y'all, if y'all feel something going up y'all spine and in y'all back, these hoes doing candle magic. These hoes like to light candles and shit. Seduction magic, of course, because they got to seduce the masculine. And then one of these hoes, I'm telling y'all, one of these hoes like women, so they could even be trying to seduce you or make you, you know, uh, like a hoe like they is. You know, come rags unite. They trying to hunt you. You could do divination. They trying to hunt you or these people, um, they trying to hunt you because you guided by the light, possibly even through divination. Or you're a woman that watches divination. You know what I'm saying? And this person could know that. Oh, and also this person go and get readings done all the motherfucking time. And these dumbass, raggedy ass hoes provide the reading. <laughs> oh, I'll give you the reading. And they do roots. On somebody's intuition as well. Because they want to reflect them for real. They want to be like them. and they Because they're trying to invoke their power. Confirmation. But want to make it cold for them. Spells and potions as well and graveyard magic. So some of you hoes can expect to die. And let me tell you something. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. When I see death in the reading... Sometimes I say it's endings. Sometimes I say it's actual death. But guess what? Nine times out of ten, when I say it's actual death, it's going to happen. Just because it don't happen right after I do the read and right after I say it, that don't mean shit. Y'all get grace and mercy too as well to try to change another course. Y'all are his children as well. He loves you too. Duh. Y'all get a chance to decide another course before y'all kill y'all selves. And when I say by kill y'all selves, is y'all shit going back to you? Dumb, raggedy, motherfucking hoes. So you could believe it or don't believe it. But it's what's coming for you hoes. And it ain't with the most high doing to you. So you can't say the most high and kill your ass. It ain't with whoever y'all been fucking with. This man or this woman. You can't say they killed your ass. Bitch or the endings. It's you raggedy motherfuckers getting back with the fuck y'all put out with lighting them candles and doing that dumb ass raggedy ass shit. And thinking y'all gonna get off with it. Some of y'all gonna lose y'all motherfucking mothers. Some of y'all gonna lose y'all boyfriends. Some of y'all gonna lose y'all mates. Some of y'all might even lose a son or a motherfucking daughter if it ain't going to be you. But you going to motherfucking feel it because you don't do no shit like that to nobody. Now, believe you, if you don't believe nothing else, you can motherfucking believe that. 
and think it ain't going to happen. My communication be on point. There's plenty, man, there's countless of readings that I have done that they came into fruition. And let's not forget, I speak of the past, present, and the future. And it's accurate. The most high word don't return to him void. You hoes be getting a chance and you motherfuckers be losing it because you ask you motherfucking hoes is delusional as hell and want to do raggedy ass shit all the damn time. But best believe y'all are being seen. Y'all footprints is left in the spirit, motherfucker. Clarity. Always get clarity on you hoes. And just because certain people don't say anything, that don't mean they don't know. They'll let y'all bump off at the gums, though, and say the slick shit that y'all need to say. But you, your footprints has got, there is clarity on you. You can act and put on the front in front of the whole motherfucking world. It don't matter. But what you ain't going to be able to front about is what the fuck is going to happen to you hoes. And I ain't talk about hoes doing anything to somebody and then trying to say, oh, they get in a karma when you know you doing candle magic and lighting candles and doing spells and potions. I'm not talking about the people who actually get inflicted. And for you people who actually feel a little bit of it, it's for your learning so that you can know what's going on. Sometimes when people have to feel shit, when people do spells and when people do uh, potions and shit like that, what I have learned, sometimes people need to feel it so they can recognize what's going on, so they can recognize that spirit, so they can recognize and learn what's being done to them. It's all a learning process for everybody around the board, including the person that's getting inflicted, so that they can become better and grow. Clown. And especially if y'all doing it on an oracle, a seer, a high priestess, um, or a prophetess, they got the wisdom and the clarity on y'all motherfucking asses. They know y'all trying to change their destiny because y'all want that shit, but y'all ain't going to never motherfucking get it. They foresight is on motherfucking point and you know it. They do shit with precision because the most highs in them. They connected to the divine. They connected to the source of all things. This even, and then y'all hoes are so motherfucking stupid. They authentic, fortunate. It's their destiny and fate. But anywho, y'all hoes are so motherfucking stupid because if somebody is connected to source and y'all trying to impede on them, y'all think they ain't gonna know or get the clarity or see y'all funky ass, twisted ass hoes? If they're connected to the most high who created all things, including that devil shit that y'all be fucking with or that devil that y'all fuck with, you think they ain't connected to y'all too? So ain't nothing no secret, honey bunches. Honey bunches of raggedy bitches. Now eat that fucking communication. Because it's direct. Make no mistake where it's coming from. Eat that motherfucker communication. It's direct. And you hoes to invoke them other spirits of them lords, them Egyptian gods, them um, whomever y'all motherfucking call on. Guess what? They gonna return the favor on y'all ass for even calling them. So get ready for that. Y'all want, y'all send them out or in the Mauritius, y'all send them out to attack other people. But guess what? They gonna attack you motherfuckers. I did a reading not too long ago. And that was coming out, and some of them was in reverse, on their way to attack y'all motherfucking asses. They like to do weird shit. And what do you know? Here go Archangel Michael, ain't playing with you hoes, giving that clarity, giving that truth, protecting people from people like y'all. Y'all think y'all slick. Y'all think y'all slick. Ain't slick worth a damn. And them, and them souls and, them, and that shit that y'all invoking, they starting to protect the people that y'all going after. Giving them that fire and that passion. Somebody is growing instead. Y'all didn't know that they can walk through the fire too. Listen to um, Kanye through the wire. Y'all didn't know they can walk through the fire too. Or Shaka Khan through the fire. The fuck? 
rise like the phoenix on you hoes. Yeah, you witches. Sneaky y'all so wise. Wild ass witches. Calling on the devil. And guess what? The devil gonna turn on y'all. Because guess who created the devil? Guess, guess who the devil do business for? Because he got a job to do. Hello. These lords, these people, they coming out too. They, the, my, Archangel, Archangel Michael was protecting these people from these, these, these people that y'all calling on. But I'm trying to tell y'all, these people going to start removing obstacles and giving wisdom and stuff about y'all funky asses that's calling they asses to do this shit. How y'all feel about what y'all calling on rejuvenating the people that y'all trying to fuck with? And Archangel Michael going to always get that clarity on what's being sent. I think y'all rat assholes slick. No. Because you know anything else. Yeah, Egyptians out here. Y'all be calling on all types of shit. Anything else we need to know? No. Then we have here Mother Mary. Y'all doing this shit to people that's pure of heart. They got faith? Please. They know how to transmute that shit and still have joy. Them angels around them. And some of them people y'all calling on to alchemize and do shit for y'all, shit, forming friendships with the people that y'all fucking with. So guess who they gonna come after? Who the fuck sent them to do bullshit to people that's pure of heart? And if y'all don't believe nothing else, believe that. Or y'all ain't gotta believe, believe it when you see it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it so you can turn a new leaf and walk away. Keep going with it. So then you can just believe it when you see it, when you get fucked up. How about that? How about that? Raggedy, silly, bird brain assholes. Think y'all so fucking smart. But so fucking dumb. Smart dummies. Smart motherfucking dummies. So I'm going to pull an awakened dreamer message for the people that these people, you know, been trying to afflict. Let's give an awakened dreamer message. And then we're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. It's always something to be grateful for. Even this, because like I said, everybody going to learn. And you can choose to grow or not. It's up to you. Free will. Mantle of mastery. Y'all fucking with people who have, man, come on. <sighs> y'all fucking with whole masters. Y'all don't even know who y'all fucking with. <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the kicker too. These hoes don't even know what y'all do because y'all want they shit, but y'all really have no clue who y'all really fucking with. Masters. Mastery. And guess who helped them master that shit? The most high. It's time to own the power you've earned and learned during this lifetime. Accept your mantle of mastery humbly. You've never been more capable and worthy of success, love, and fulfillment than you are now. Yeah, these people's souls still gonna shine. You are aligned with the light that radiates throughout this world and beyond. Now is the time to claim your rightful place as one with the sunlight of the spirit. Allow your glow to sparkle and shimmer through you as you set this world ablaze. Hmm. Speak for itself. Let's let's uh um get a grateful heart message because like I said, it's always something to be grateful for. It's always something to be grateful for. Glory in His holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek Yahweh rejoice. 
the optimist says the cup is half full. The pessimist says the cup is half empty. The child of Yahweh says my cup runneth over. The word of Yahweh is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. All scripture is Yahweh breath and it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. Gratitude can transform common days into Thanksgiving, turn routine jobs into ordinary opportunities. Turn routine jobs into joy and change ordinary opportunities into blessings. Be happy as yes, leap for joy for a great reward awaits you in heaven. Shout for joy, Yahweh comforts his people. Yahweh will be your light forever. So something y'all cannot tamper with, mess with, because it's eternal. We got just for you. Just for you. Yahweh is our refuge and strength in an ever-present help in trouble. Yahweh will meet your needs according to the riches of his glory in Yahshua the Messiah. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. I will praise you, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. So you can tell everybody. You can tell everybody. You can tell everybody. The Yahweh, the man, the man, and the woman. <laughs> I hope you all got a message from this read. It'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.